I'm Brian Webb. I'm a candidate for Place Till in Flower Mounds Town Council. And thank you very much to the Flower Mound Area Republican Club for holding this event. Max, we appreciate you being here and being a part of it. Um, the questions tonight that were offered up, I believe they came from the membership. So I thank you for that. And I'm going to do my very best to address each one at least briefly so that you get your money's worth. Afterwards, if you have questions, please feel free to catch me. I'll leave after the last person leaves. Why am I running? I don't have anything else to do on a Monday night. <laughs> but the food was good and the, you know, the conversations were lively. Uh, in reality, the reason why I'm running for Firemount Town Council is because as great as a community that this is, we can be better. <clears throat> we can leverage the tens of millions of dollars that we have invested in our infrastructure and allow our citizens to earn a dividend on that. We can grow our local economy. And as we grow our local economy, we're growing our regional economy, our state economy, and our national economy. Everybody wins. We can bring some more balance to our tax base, take the burden off the homeowners, encourage more shopping and dining choices, thereby allowing us to keep our sales tax dollars at home and use those sales tax dollars to fund our police and fire protection. Families and kids are at the core of our community. But our community is changing. In the last 10 years, the average age has increased by nearly five years. I saw on the U.S. Census Bureau, I just went, wow. I deal with big numbers every day of professional. And that was a big wake-up call. Even with that kind of growth in our average age, moms and dads and kids, they are always going to be the backbone of this community. But we have to recognize that folks like me, folks like Richard, we're not getting any younger. And while we've enjoyed our homes, we may at some point in time want to downsize. But we want to stay in Flower Mound because it's home. Or my mother-in-law might want to come here because she's ready to sell her house and have some place to rent. We have to recognize that changing demographic and be ready to meet that need and that demand. The water issue, I think we've talked about it, you know. There's, it's an issue. Good news is we got lots of water. Bad news is we're paying for it. Um, on items three through five, I'm just going to kind of group them together just to try to keep us on time. Um, since my opponents, and that's with an S, the NFL took office two years ago, I call it there's been three or four or five different distinct attempts, attacks, use whatever word you want to change our mixed use ordinance. Started off with hiring an outside consultant to come in to tell us what, what the right zoning was for Lakeside area. I think it, my recollection is that was kind of inconclusive. Depending on who you ask, some will say, well, it needs to be campus commercial. Others will say, campus commercial, mixed use. Kind of depends on what kind of project somebody wants to bring you. Um, that was followed up a few months later when Planning and Zoning took a look at some mixed use ordinances, made some recommendations, passed them on to Council. Somewhere between the time they left Planning and Zoning on a Monday night and arrived at Council three weeks later, words got at it, which would have stripped mixed use from being eligible down at Lakeside DFW. A year and a half ago, it happened. Got recognized, got spotted. Light got shined on it, and it was tabled. Never should have happened that way. Um, another event at Plan Zoning. Uh, the Vice Chair was making a motion regarding mixed use again, and inserted into his motion a recommendation with regards to residential mix. Residential mix was not on the public agenda that night. Had that been allowed to go forward, that would have been a violation of Open Meetings Act. I stood up. I insisted that the town attorney stop that motion, take PNZ back in the back, have a talk with him, and figure out a way to make that make things move forward. <clears throat> Lastly, 
back to Lakeside DFW about a month and a half ago, maybe just a month ago, time's flying. Um, the project group came to Town Hall to do an um, economic development team meeting. Typically that includes a couple members of council, a member or two from PNZ, town staff. Because of the magnitude of this project being $750 million to a $1 billion over 10 years, it was posted as an open meeting and the entire council was invited. My opponent and his running mate on council didn't show up. Folks, if somebody wants to bring a billion dollar project to Flower Mound, I'm going to make that meeting, and if I can't, I'm going to very respectfully request to have that meeting date changed so that we can all be there. A project like that has, is, has the potential to be far too important to this community's future not to be willing to sit down and have that conversation. So that probably kind of answers a little bit where I'm at on mixed use. Mixed use in the right place is good. Shiloh and 1171 is not going to be the right place for mixed use. 377 and 1171? Yeah. That would be a great growth corridor. It's planned for it there. Okay. One minute? Thank you. Um, so I'm going to start wrapping up. I'm running for town council because I think we can be much better than we are today. And when I say that, that does not diminish the work of anyone who has served this community before. Because we are a tremendous community, we can just be better. And I would like to have your support and your vote to help that make that happen. Thank you all very much. Have a great evening.